so this first part A um, has an infinite number of correct answers, but what's going on is a three feet by three feet piece of paper. And I'm interpreting that we are cutting uh, from the four corners a square. So I'm just gonna write in like X and X and X and X. So when you create a new figure, uh, notice it's not as wide because you had to subtract off two X's from each corner. And as you fold up, the height of each one of those is X. So do the same thing over here. So I think you can see the three dimensions, the three minus two X. Um, so what you could do is just say, okay, well, what if I had X be one? Um, this could be an answer to part A. Well, three minus two, because you cut one on each side, um, has a, I'll just call it a length of one. And same thing with over here, has a width of one. And if you um, multiply those three together, then the volume would be one uh, cubic foot. So that could be enough for one answer. But then on letter B, um, well, I guess that's kind of what I did up here. Let me just rename that. I think that my picture is kind of like letter B. Um, so then on letter C, we can create the equation for the volume by using this length times width times height and x times 3 minus 2x times 3 minus 2x. And then we can... Uh, at least what I would do, since this is a calculus problem, is distribute. 3 times 3 would be 9, multiplied by that x. But then you'd have a negative 6x with another negative 6x. That's negative 12x. It's going to be squared when I multiply by that x. And then 4x cubed, negative 2x times negative 2x is 4x squared, times that x, though. So now we can take this derivative to give me 9 minus 24x plus 12x squared, and see where that derivative equals zero will maximize the volume. Uh, so, uh, I may be doing C and D together, and maybe even part E, uh, so you can just sort of follow along. I would do the quadratic formula, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2a um, and just use my calculator to see what answers I get there 24 oops, oops, 24 plus the square root of 24 squared minus 4 times 12 times 9 all over 24 um, I'm going to see what happens if I do a minus though so I actually get a couple of answers uh, when I did the minus, I get one half, because when I did the plus, I got three halves. But think about why that doesn't make sense, is if you cut 1.5, three halves on each side, you actually have no volume. So this answer doesn't make any sense. Uh, so had I cut one half on each side, so three minus two times one half, or three minus one would give me two. So the dimensions would have to be a two foot by two foot by one half foot. Uh, which means that the volume then, two times two would be four times one half would be two cubic feet. And if you compare it to my first answer from part A, this is definitely better than what my part A had guessed.